digital biothesiometer model vibro test is used to measure the loss of vibration perception in diabetes patients for grading diabetic neuropathy this machine gives an vibration output and the units are between 0 volt and 50 volts most of the doctors are accepting more than 25 volts are abnormal that means when the vibration is happening at 25 volt or above the patients are considered are high risk foot patients this machine has got few controls now we will look into the controls one after another so the voltage this control is increase used to increase the vibration output happening in the probe you can see the display this display will display you the output voltage in numbers it is varying from 0 to 50 here so you have a check key here it is a push button switch this is used i'll explain to you later you have a connector for connecting the vibration probe and the vibration probe is like this okay you can see the black button here so this is actually vibrating so this tip has to be gently touched in all these test location that is bottom of the sole great toe first metatarsal head third metatarsal head fifth metatarsal head instep and heel so this has to be tested on both foot so this has to be connected to this point so through this connector and then it has to be tightened and you also have on off switch so when switched on then the light number will be displayed here then the machine is ready for function now we will see you the back side some of the controls used so this is the main socket for connecting the main cable so this is the main cable so the main cable has to be connected here and then pressed firmly now it is completely connected you have a fuse holder the red knob is fuse holder so you can to remove it you have to unscrew it then it can get it so you can unscrew it see you can see there is a glass fuse please refer the user manual for the values when there is a lot of fluctuation or when there is some malfunction in the machine so this fuse will blow there is a small thin wire in between the fuse so that will get open so then the machine will not function so the indication is when there is no light on the display on this display that indicates the problem the fuse could be blown so you tighten it after replacing it tightly very firmly then it is ready for use now the machine is connected to the mains so i can switching on the machine so now you can see so there is a red color display and the switch and then you are also hearing on alarm and an indication nop that means no probe no vibration probe is now connected see because this is empty it is giving an alarm so switch it off and then connect this you can see here there is a small dent on side everywhere it is circle at one point there is a dent and here also you can see there is a small mark here so it has to match and then just tight it do not over tight it gently tight it now it is ready 
so now i am switching on the machine so you get dfc that indicates diabetic foot care and then you get number 00 so that so when it is 00 there will not be any vibration happened at the probe so i am increasing the knob slowly you can see the number are keep increasing it goes up to 50 the moment it comes to around 49.50 you are hearing now a beep sound that means you are already reaching the maximum output so there is no point in measuring 50 volt because 25 and above are considered very high risk foot okay so before after you test when you are when you want to switch off the machine you have to make it to zero then switch it off otherwise there are chances that when you keep it at something like this and switching it off when you switch on next time you are starting with full load so some there are some chances that the fuse might get blow so always make sure the voltage is the minimum position then switch it off okay if you see on the probe you have two keys check record record key is not useful for this particular model only check key is used so the same check is also available here okay why you need the check here when you are testing the machine you are testing and getting the reading based on patient response patient has to say when you are increasing it from zero to higher value so they should say yes now i am feeling the vibration okay so we really do not know whether they are feeling the vibration or not so we need to cross check so when i press this check or this check when i pressing it and holding it the vibration at the tip will stop so patient has to when you ask your patient he should say no i am not getting it when you release it without their knowledge they should say no now i am getting the vibration so that means what they are perceiving is correct that means the number what you are getting is correct so once you get that number then the value what you are getting will be perfect so for that reason we need we have the check keys now the machine is ready for testing so before checking so we will explain the testing point one more time great toe touch it gently without do not press it hard just gent, gently touch it then the first metadossal head then third metadossal head then fifth metadossal then in step then heel finally heel so you have to do it before starting the test we have to educate the patient about the test and then we should continue it so that the output what we will get will be error free now i am we are putting it on the palm and then increasing it little stronger and then make the patient aware about the vibration are you getting vibration yes what kind of vibration grr, grr. are you getting grr? grr okay so we have to explain and then we will have to tell him that we will be testing in the foot and he should experience the same thing now i will do it in your foot you should tell me when you are getting the vibration loudly okay okay now i am going to test in the foot i am making it zero now i will test in the great toe i am slowly increasing it patient has to say when he is feeling the vibration yes now are you getting it yes now yes now no are you getting yes, it yes now now are you getting it 
no now i have checked the press button so he says no i releasing it now i'll ask it again are you getting the vibration yes so that means what he has perceived is correct now the number the voltage output what uh, at at what point he is getting is 10 numbers so with this which is uh, less than 25 volt so he uh, his foot is considered normal the same way we have to test it at the first method as a head and then increase it start from zero increase it are you getting it yes so he is getting it now so and then i am checking it in third method as a head are you getting it now yes now are you getting it yes now are you getting it no now yes so like that we repeat the test for all the foot we complete it so these numbers has to be recorded in the pre printed patient report form and give it to the doctor so before i switch off i make it to zero then i switch it off thank you